Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Wolf's Lessons in Paradise. Uh, today we're playing Wolf's Lessons in Paradise, as you might have already guessed <laughs> from the title of this video. <laughs> we just said it like two <laughs> seconds ago. Let's get back into uh, the game, Wolf's Lessons in Paradise. If you haven't known, we're playing Wolf's Lessons in Paradise. Okay, I'll stop. Oh my god! It's Wolf Stars in Paradise! <laughs> I was gonna stop this joke, but you know what, it's fine, it's fine. I'll be seeing you, fellas. I truly am sorry, Jay Anus. Only you can make it up to me by giving the best damn performance pleasure I has ever seen. Jay Anus leaves. Ah, great. Just great. Am I supposed to get my best friend and our worst enemy to work together? This performance is doomed to failure. Well then, are you ready? Like we have any other choice. Here we go. You knock on the door. Enter. No turning back now. That's Hugo's apartment. That's a... Oh, oh yeah, that's me, that's me. <laughs> Stripey boy. Holy crap, Wolfstar, do you feel that? Are they already touching him? Damn. Yeah. His aura is as horrifying as a tax man's. Apologies, I have not showered yet. Really? I hadn't noticed. So, was your name Ultra Powerful Dude? Wow. Oh, wow, you're being very sexy, Hyper. Don't take this out of context. <laughs> I am Azagal. He looks at each of you. My order was for a mix of body types, yet your establishment sees fit to send me three wolfkin. Well, then you should have asked for a of species. That's disappointing. What do we do? I guess we apologize? Sure. I'd say yeah. apologize. Keep up the yeah. customer Apologize. Uh, please accept our most humble apologies. We had an emergency before our one of our performers. For one uncomfortable moment, there's a pause of looking at your client. He breaks the silence. So, shall we get this hoedown started? I'll get the Bible. Oh god, this is not what I requested. <laughs> not yet. That last quake shook my favorite wine bottle to tragically fall upon the floor. So all that shaking we felt in the elevator was actually a quake? My escort just went down to the lobby. You know, you could've just called the front desk. This person? Since we were gonna be here anyways, we would've brought you a replacement bottle. Yes, I know. Asagal's penetrating gaze falls upon Dagio. He insisted. Dagio's grin seems forced, and he says that he's feeling agitated. He's trying much too hard to please me. Whatever. Nagya leans against the couch. Time is money, you know. This is the most uncomfortable meeting ever. <laughs> oh, not meeting. Yes. Like, yes. Whatever we're doing here. Oh, geez, Dagio, that was rude. I am aware of your respective rates. You have nothing to fear and shall be well paid for your time spent here. We shall delay your performance until he returns. Listen for him to knock on the door. We shall reconvene on the balcony, where you shall perform for me. So in the meantime, we're free then? You're free to explore as you like until my escort returns. Azagal turns away and opens the back door. Oh, Azagal, <laughs> that's a nice back door. Anyway. Where's your tiger? I'll squeeze them tigers. No, squeeze them and spread them. <laughs> However, might I suggest that you use this time to prepare yourselves? My expectations are high, and you had better perform like your lives depend on it. He's such a creep. He steps outside and shuts the door behind him. Another damn angel. That's just great. Another one? What do we do now? We do what we came here to do, and impress him. I'll throw the Bible at him. I'll grab the Bible. Looks on you that I am into that sh Simple. We divide our forces. Divide our forces? What do you mean, Star? Well, earlier, Jay Anus uh, informed us that these guys want dinner and a show. Dagio, you handle the kitchen while Hyper and I handle the entertainment. Dagio seems delighted. What a splendid idea. Hey, any plan that keeps Dagio out of my side is a plan that works for me. Dagio has already removed a bottle from the wine rack and is observing its label. Try not to drink up all the wine, too. I promise. Nothing. You let out a sigh. Don't you think it's a bit too early to be celebrating? You know, Hyper, I've taken really good care of your friend while you've been away. Is that true, Wolfstar? <sighs> Give or take a few minor grievances, yes. One might even dare say that Wolfstar has started to enjoy my company too. Is that based off of his route? 
Oh, I've seen the CG. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you begin to blood. Yeah, they're, they're referring to that CG, of course. I tolerate you at best. Dagio pops the cork. <laughs> Dagio pops the cherry. Nagio pops the cork. <laughs> then holds <laughs> out the <laughs> bottle. To what hyper. was that, Shin? What Nothing. That? Don't worry about it. You're making me worry about it. Why don't we share a drink and try burying the hatchet for one evening? Give me the opportunity, and who knows? Maybe you'll just start to appreciate my company before the night ends. No, thank you. Dagger pouts for a moment, then takes a swig of the bottle. Your time in prison has made you no fun at all. Shut up, you scheming a-hole. Well, you can't say that I didn't try extending out an olive branch. As Dagger makes his way back towards the wine rack, you see that the name on the bottle he's holding is actually called the olive branch. Well... Honestly, was he trying to be sincere or funny? Dagi notices your gaze and indulges in snickering to himself. Well, that answers my question. Dagi goes into the kitchen while Hyper sits on the couch in the living room. Okay, it's been a really rough start thus far, but we should be able to pull off a good show. Keeping these two apart is the only way that I can see our service succeeding. As long as Paradise doesn't see fit to throw any more curveballs at us, we should be golden. Suddenly, there is a knock on the front door. I'll get it. You open the door. <laughs> well, do we want do we what, want to uh, give Turving a chance? No, no, no absolutely you not. are absolutely <laughs> great in this role. Let's get this party started. I wonder what his neighbors must think. <laughs> Drunk again. Hate me. Yeah, sh that's strike three. Game over, man. Tonight's going to be a complete disaster. Let me take a guess. You smoke Inferno black sticks. Flashy rolled. Hey, you got a good nose on you. Well, I'm impressed. Why is he so sad in the side, Sprite? Aww. Well, I'm thrilled to meet you, boys. The name's Water. Look like the beverage. He reeks of cigars and alcohol. Reeks. All right. Oh, no. Oh, where is this going? All right, studs. Gather round and line up. <laughs> Let's see what we're working with tonight. Huh. Is something wrong, boss? What is this? Some kind of joke? I know I'm putting in an order for a variety of men, and Hugo sends up three wolfmen. There was a situation with our partner's BFP suddenly expiring. You should have seen them before I joined this crew. Great. If it's a big deal to you, we could have our friend Dagio glamorous up some new forms. Mm. I'm afraid that won't work, Hyper. Wait a minute, how come? Ezekiel already knows about this, doesn't he? Yeah. He wasn't pleased with us either. All the more reason for the magic disguise. I'm telling you, it won't work. Why not? Normally, it wouldn't be an issue with your average Pleasure Island clients. However, our current customer is a divine overseer. I don't follow. Of course you freaking don't. Marumi has this power called True Sight. He'd see right through your disguises. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> He's not the only one, too. Hmm? Oh my god. Oh no, I hope oh. I didn't stop anything. Yeah, you stopped the stream. We were in my moment. <laughs> Yours truly has the same ability too. But my true sight has to be activated with these here dumb glasses. I wish my eyes could have had that nifty ability installed to be activated at will. I get the feeling we'll be in a deeper hole if Rotter sees my true self and remembers our first meeting at a Jade Palace buffet. Let's just make sure not to give him a reason to use his glasses, and just play it cool, Wolfstar. Rotter leans back, growls in frustration, and then sighs as he rubs the back of his neck. Then he approaches you. Oh, you're approaching me? This night is really not going well for us. Oi, run! Do me a favor and put this on ice, will you? He hands over the wine he was carrying. You avoid making eye contact as you receive the bottle. Rotter separates from the group to stand in front of the window. He takes in the view of the city lights below. You whisper into Dagger's ear and give him a light push. What? Why me? Why? Dagger it... emerges with a full. <laughs> yes, a full. <laughs> it's an ass eating experience. <laughs> Dagger emerges with a full wine glass to offer. You seem really stressed out there, champ. <laughs> That's how I want my strippers to call me. Rotter <laughs> <laughs> no. takes the drink and downs its content in one loud gulp. <laughs> oh, I am. Dagger came prepared with the bottle and refills Rotter's glass. My roommate is a super powerful angel and needs to be impressed with what Paradise has to offer. Oh, well, you're in luck. My friends here do offer massages, you know, and they're to die for. 
Uh, I'm going to need it if we're still here tomorrow. Wait, what does he mean by that? Look, I don't mean to take things out on you lads. He consumes another full glass of wine and continues to lament. lament These past few hours have just been one bad thing after another. Last night at the buffet, some prick took the last pot sticker. Ah, crap. I knew we'd hold a grudge. And the kitchen didn't make any more for the rest of the evening. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh Sold no. on the wound. <laughs> and those stupid quakes we have knocked over and broke his favorite bottle of wine from the rack. Ah, uh, so it wasn't the elevator being out of order. We actually had quakes. Well, I've been trying my damnness to be entertaining too, but it doesn't help that our angels are very short temper. You must put the hyper's ear and give him a push. Again. Pushing. But I don't want to. I don't want to go over there. Go over here, hyper. Hyper begins to rub Rota's shoulders. You know, oh, the my. best masseuse in Georgia, they say. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> At first, the lion man looks surprised and slightly annoyed, but that expression quickly melted to pure bliss. Ah. Uh, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Come on, Dodger. Oh, damn boy, father figure really needed that. <laughs> nice save. <laughs> if you could do this for that uptight pigeon out there, then maybe tonight won't be so bad after all. The I don't want to squeeze that tiger. He puts me off. <laughs> what you saying? Why do I feel like he just jinxed our plans? Oh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Runner. Yep. Yeah, I called it. Oh That's no. That's worse. <laughs> What is it, boss? Oh, you got a new sprite too. Yeah, it's a new sprite. Oh, it's oh holy crap. It's a tax man. Is Brutus connected with him? Give me a status report on that damn pigeon. That son of a bitch had better be ready soon. My bus turving, I love this. Oh, uh, well, you see, about that. The tax man is shaking like a volcano that's about to explode. I'd hate to be in Rudder's shoes right now. Spit it out while I'm still in a good mood. Yes, sir. This is the last stop before we head back, sir. What? Another quack, eh? Quack, eh? Another quack, the ducks, they're coming. The apocalypse. Great, seems like that damn lizard mammon isn't doing much better keeping the place for shifting. shifting. Stop yelling at me. We're running out of time, Rotter. What's the goddamn hold up? Well, I'm sorry, boss. He promised me that he'd return after he got a good lap dance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These boys here at Pleasure Island are new and refreshing talent. The best we've got in paradise. One. One boss. One show. Got it? One. And only one show. Keeping both the city wide barrier and Moon held up is making my heart tired. What? Did he just say? Hmm, well, that's interesting. Crap. Uh, boss, couldn't you just send that last part in a text message? Oh, I'm sorry. How careless and insensitive of me. Shall I let down the city white barrier and the freaking moon just so my hands are free to text the rest of my orders to you right now? I mean, you're yeah. holding a flame and a cigar in both hands, so... Dagger Hyper and Wolfstar scream in unison. No! <laughs> Three, two, one. No! No! Perfect unison. <laughs> no, no, no. Anyway. no. I didn't think so, you damn morons. Get that stupid bastard his jolly fix right. and send him back to me, Aisa. Understand? So, yes, sir. Don't fail me, assholes. In the puff of smoke, the taxman's projection fades away. Crap. So, the moon not only just appeared the other night, but it's actually falling on top of us right now? Yeah, I guess the cat is really out of the bag now, huh? Well, he was never in it, but Running listen, boys, on, my mission was to show the tiger a good time, which would help marshal up his powerful positive forces. Once achieved, he's going to take all that holy power and use them to save the day with the tax man and mammon. I'm guessing things aren't going well. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being not very, and 10 being totally destroyed, just how screwed are we? 11. Oh, God. <laughs> I called it. Easily at Ash's estimate. Wait, what? It wasn't mine. <laughs> Azagol has been very unhappy with his day in paradise. At this rate, we're gonna need a friggin' miracle. Thank you, Cracks Open, a fresh bottle of wine. We're at kiss your asses goodbye levels of annihilation, friends. He takes a swig and passes the bottle to Hyper, who doesn't hesitate to empty the rest of the contents down his throat. Glug, glug, Damn. glug. Yeah, about that. Roger tightens his fist and hits it against the flat of his hand, making a loud punching noise. Look, fellas, can you just forget about what you heard? Hmm, easy for you to say. Hyper lets out a low growl. 
I don't think there's much of a choice if we want to live. That's a spirit bullet head. What throws his arm around your shoulder? Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh man. He smells like a pub filled with 10 years of sweaty, unwashed gym socks. Oh, wait a minute, what did you just say? What a sneers as he holds his hand next to your head like it's a gun. Let's go blow him away. He pulls the invisible trigger and makes a quiet gun sound with his pursed lips. Regardless, Rotter is right, we can't give up now. Time to put your skills to the test and give this show everything you've got. Tonight you're dancing to save paradise. Hyper. D Dagio. They both look at you. It's showtime. Please have a CG. Please. CG. Ooh, look, a CG. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what to do with the city of sin? As it goes, eyes explore the vast, luminous scene below, all the while calculating the worth of its citizens. Cowards, blasphemers, whores, liars, schemers, thieves, murderers. <sighs> Why do I even bother to humor this den of fools? Would serve the whole lot of them right if I just let the city be cleansed by the falling moon. What a sight that would be. I wonder if their pathetic scream would reach the heavens. Amused by the thought of the many sinners' destruction, Azagal begins to chuckle. He holds up a paw to his chin and his mood shifts to compat. Con contemplative. Contemplation. Contemplative. And his mood shifts to completed. Com competitive. Contemplative. 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 He holds a part of his chin and his move. His, his moose. Yeah, his moose. <laughs> and his mood shifts to contemplative. Then again, this group of performers I just met includes two heroes and an art demon working together. If such a combination of beings can live together in harmony, then maybe that alone makes the city worth saving after all. That that bulge is making the city worth saving. Stop <laughs> <laughs> and squeeze the tiger. Squeeze the tiger, spread the tigers. Yes. Esteemed guest. It's time to get funky. <laughs> Shut up. Dougie appears, holding a silver platter that's encased by a matching silver dome and a wine bottle resting in an ice bucket. Something smells wonderful. My bucket. <coughs> Please take your seat. The show is about to begin. He sets down the platter on the nearby table and opens the bottle of wine. Dagi pulls back the silver dome to reveal. Yeah, so the pork pot does the thing that we stole from him earlier, so. Yeah. Azagal smiles and is delighted with this. Azagal smiles and is delighted with this choice. This is exactly what I needed. How did you know? Afraid that's a company secret, sir. He wastes no time taking a pot sticker and putting it into his mouth. The large tiger purrs loudly as he enjoys the savory, salty snack. Damn, this is so good. Like he finishes pouring out a full wine glass. You honor us with your approval. He gently touches Azagal's back and makes sure that the tiger sees his winning smile before he prepares to return to the kitchen. Suddenly, music plays, signaling that the performance is about to begin. Please enjoy your meal and the show. Nagish trusts to the music as he leaves. He's pretty damn hot for an art demon. Rotter eagerly approaches, holding a stage microphone up to his mouth. Alright, alright, alright. Welcome to Pleasure Island. Could I have a pot sticker? We've got one hell of a special night in store for our divine overseer. Oh no, the wallpaper again, I just noticed. <laughs> 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 See this? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> and now, without further ado, let's bring out the stars of tonight's show. They're the recent addition to the club roster, the winners of our last amateur night. Put your paws together and shout out loud for Wolfstar and Hyper. You both run now while your names are called, showing lots of energy. My name is Ben Dover, thank you. <laughs> Both of you take your positions. Positions. I'm um, sorry. Uh, and then start to move to the music. My heart is pounding. It's hard to believe that all our lives depend on this one performance. The hyper seems to be handling the pressure well. He looks so confident no matter what the situation is. Speaking of confidence, I should keep up with the advice that Dane gave me and stay in character. Azagal hasn't been able to take his eyes off either of you. 
Well, at least he seems to be enjoying the show so far. Our teasing is done. Time to show off the goods. Without breaking eye contact, you make your way to the tiger's table. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. That was interesting. <laughs> you smoothly remove your shirt and casually discard it to the ground. You like what you see, big guy? Azagal responds with a loud whistle. He lets out a roar. What a delight. Excellent sport. More! Give me more! <laughs> I'm sure that's what it sounded like. Being an exhibitionist is quite a delicate balancing act. Power goes both ways between the client and performer. It may seem like our client is in command, but in reality... If you want... Oh! oh. At this moment, we have all the power. Azagal quickly drinks the rest of his wine in his glass and sets his cup down hard upon the table. There you go. Oh god! <laughs> Whoa! Jeez, buddy, <laughs> take it bouncing. easy! No! You need to be more careful with strength like that, otherwise you're liable to bring the entire penthouse crashing down. <laughs> that was another quake. We've run out of time. Time to wrap up this act and send Azzy on his way. Oh, Divine Overseer, the city of paradise needs you now. I wish we could do more. Please just say anything. What happens? <laughs> what is happening? What is this? I don't... <laughs> do the last one. Do the last one. <laughs> That's not gonna work. <laughs> Please serve a city. As I got happy plus two. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, that's actually the best one. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> Apparently, this is the best Wolf, one. Wolf, sorry, you cheeky bastard. As I got hugs you tight and smiles. With an offer like that, how could I not guarantee that the world will be safe? A hero. You hug the tiger back, letting a tear escape your eyes. Yeah, I know you can do it. All of Paradise seems to tremble. Thank you for putting your trust in me. I will not fail you or Paradise. Farewell for now. So literally five minutes ago he was thinking about destroying everyone and now he's fine. Yeah, because we offered to f*** our friend. Azaga leaps off the roof and takes flight, heading to the disaster zone. You can do it, Azagal. You can end the episode in peace. Thank yes. you guys so much for watching. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Um, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Check out our Discord server in the description below if you want to join us for the next recording session. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.